Rahim Aslam Likum. This video we will add AI cars to our scene and uh, the important thing is that uh, I have created a new track for AI racing because uh, uh, I have created two scenes. The older scene is actually the time trial scene and the new track I have created with on uh, with the name of race track. So in this race track uh, I have set up everything uh, what we have set up in time trial and uh, for setting up everything you can actually create the prefabs so here you can see that i have uh, created a folder of prefabs and inside this i have just added a uh, just drag drop, uh, drop layer here and also i drag drop canvas and sounds and then i just reuse these prefabs in this same uh, this new scene although for certain things uh, we have to create uh, new objects like waypoints we have to create the checkpoints and finish point and everything will be set up in the same way so you can actually open both two uh, both scenes here in the uh, hierarchy so after creating the scene uh, i used uh, easy uh, roads uh, demo project uh, uh, asset and you can download it from insan.org and uh, here if you can see if we open the time trial scene we can actually open both scene in a similar window and uh, then what will happen is that uh, when we uh, mm, when we uh, uh, analyze the things so for example uh, in case of progress waypoints you can open the progress waypoints and then you can check out that how these waypoints are set up so here you can see that this waypoint has progress waypoint script so in your own uh, this new scene you can just uh, set up your waypoints like that okay and uh, similarly for the checkpoints we have added checkpoint trigger and similarly for the finish point we have added lap trigger and finish line script and uh, that's important and uh, in the middle uh, middle uh, this uh, tracker uh, this uh, waypoint we will add activator script as well and we will add finish line trigger from this scene so now everything is set up and uh, we can actually create ai cars and uh, for the racing so before that i will just uh, delete this scene from here so i will just save it and now i will just remove this scene from here and we have this scene and everything is set up nicely one important thing is that if we go to standard assets and if you want to utilize ai car we can just go to prefabs and we can actually add ai car with the name of car waypoint based so i will just go to our uh, yellow player car focus it and uh, let's place the ai car here before that i will just duplicate it with control d and now we will just uh, uh, bring it here and uh, we can customize it okay so i will change the body and everything for this car and then we can save this car as a uh, prefab okay so the important thing is that uh, the car waypoint paste has used the same car controller script here and uh, the one uh, new script is car ai control and uh, uh, where we have a waypoint uh, object as well and uh, we also have waypoint progress tracker uh, script which where we can add our circuit and uh, uh, in this way we can uh, add our uh, ai cars so the important thing is that uh, the this script is same car controller script is same so for the update function if you will go to the update function here you can see that uh, in update function we have this line of code save script dot speed equal to current speed and it will actually get the speed for every car and it will make it equal to the save script speed so we don't want to do that 
So, for this function, I just have uh, had one thing and uh, we have actually added this pool variable and this pool variable you can create anywhere uh, here in the variables uh, and I have created it uh, here public pool player equal to true and now we will say that if the car is player car then only we want to uh, get speed for the speedometer and gears okay. So, this is very important. So, now what we can do, we can select the AI cars and uh, you can see that in AI cars, we will have this option for player. So, we can actually uncheck this thing, okay, initially. And for car yellow player, which is the player car, we will choose this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, to be active, okay. So, that's great. So, uh, we will just uh, re change the mesh of the AI car and uh, it, the process is absolutely similar uh, with this, uh, the player car. So, here I think we have some cars here maybe, uh, I think, yeah, uh, these are the cars but uh, I will use some another type of cars here. So, I have imported a asset for the cars. So. I think uh, this one, yeah, this one is uh, different. So, yes, this one is good. So, we can use these cars. So, let's add this prefab over here, and uh, you can see that we have a nice prefab here. And uh, I will just rename, uh, we can okay, just make it like this, no problem. And you can see that this is also a prefab and uh, if for changes definitely we want to um, uh, open the prefab before making changes okay and uh, actually we can right click and we can uh, go to uh, prefabs where is prefab and unpack completely and similarly with the car waypoint paste we can just go to uh, prefab and we can unpack it completely as well so now we will just select the car and we'll just uh, actually we will just copy the component here transform values copy the position and rotation so let's select the position for example and uh, select the car and uh, we'll just paste the position okay you can see the uh, there is some orientation problem and uh, we will manually adjust it no problem and uh, so we will just uh, go to rotation so let's go to rotation and we will just paste it paste the value of rotation as well so now we will just add this car under this waypoint paste car sky car let's add it here and for the sky car body definitely we will just uh, delete everything but before that i think we should select the car and uh, let's move it like this and you can see it's totally wrong uh, wrong side and uh, for this car which is the new car the z axis is towards back side so this is very bad thing i don't know why but uh, yeah this is problem for every car anyhow we will just try to solve it so let's uh, rotate it to 180 degree 180 and now we will just adjust it definitely we have tires for the car so the important thing is the tires actually so if you can see the tire has also the problem so the z axis is not towards front so it will create problem for us so we can actually delete the tires we don't need it and we can just select the car mesh we can just bring it to the right position maybe like this and uh, we will just uh, delete the uh, components sorry body and components we also don't need brake uh, light glow and headlight glow suspension front light wheel front left and uh, these these things we need actually 
pieces uh, the wheels okay and other things we have just deleted and now you can see that we have nice car but uh, we will just adjust the body a little bit more so yeah and now we will just uh, uh, select the uh, back tires which are a sky car we will rear left and rear right and with these tires we will also go to wheel hu uh, hubs actually and we will also select rear left and rear right colliders and now we will just move these tires like this and now everything is fine we will just add a little uh, texture for these tires so i think we can add some material you can see that we don't have any uh, black material for these tires so we can just move back and let's uh, open some other mesh and actually we don't have materials yeah here we have this black material and let's use this this is very dark i think so this one is good yeah this one is good so let's add it here and uh, here as well on the mud guard and uh, for this we will just add it here and here as well i can add it for here as well so now our ai car is ready we will just rename the car so enemy uh enemy uh 01 maybe so now everything is fine one important thing is this tag and here you can see that we have player tag selected and actually we can create another tag and uh, here we have enemy tag or you can use enemy tag or ai car tag so let's create a tag here and we will name it ai car like this and that's great and now we'll just select the enemy 01 or even we can actually use a name for the yellow black red yeah so let's uh, rename it to enemy black like this okay so that's good and we will just adjust the tag to ai car save it and now if we play the game you will see that uh, it should work hopefully so let's see hopefully it will move around the road so you can see yeah that's great so car is moving absolutely nice so which is very nice so now we will just definitely we didn't have added the progress waypoint tracker so we'll do that in our next video uh, when we will set up our racing and uh, here i will just go to prefabs and ai cars and i will just drag drop this enemy black ai car here and for the other cars i will just duplicate the same car and i will change the mesh of this car uh, and i will create four ai cars and uh, we will move further with next video